hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest 9 Sentinels of the Starry Skies and in this episode I'll be continuing with quests and hopefully bring up the remaining story related side quests depending on what it has to offer so with further ado I'm just gonna quickly show you the quests of course I have got quite a few new enemies from the grottos as well because I've been like running out a lot of grottos but anyway, I have now got the brilliant biscuit for that. I've got I got the uh, Sly and Heart and Metal King Slime for Shame on Goo. So I don't actually know the two that are left. I'll have to search it up or something. Plum Duffer, I have to find bloody sea verns first. But I haven't actually been in any new water dungeons yet. But that's fine. I've done the Canny Bell one ready because, you know, it doesn't matter. And then I still have to try and find out where Borea is because I don't know where they are but anyway I'm going to hand in um, the senile quest over in the Erdus marshlands then I'm gonna hand in the in, in uh, infra penny in search of an inny or whatever it's bloody called two or three of them have similar titles so you know not very helpful I know, I was just making sure there was nothing else, but no, didn't look like there was. Go on then, senile. Hmm, I can't seem to remember quite who you are, but I see that you have my rank and file there. And I can see that you've been rocked by your fair share of candy bell rage as well. That can mean only one thing. Now if you'd be so good as to hand it over the file. I'm sure it won't be of any use to a mortal such as yourself. Marvellous, marvellous. is positively bubbling over with the rampant rage of those candy bells. right -o, down the hatch. See now, downs the contents of the rank and file in one. Oh, hello. Ha ha ha! Thanks to that shot of the steeled rage, I've been restored to my true form. Now I can smash my way through the pathetic seal that traps me in this well. But first, I think I'll commemorate my release by tearing you to pieces. Come along now, there's a good victim. It's time for you to do... To do... Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Where was I? Was I in the middle of something? Deary me, I can't remember now. I get the distinct feeling I was rather angry about something, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Hmm. Yes, I was definitely angry about something, but I just can't remember what. Goodness, I'm so forgetful these days. But I do seem to remember you having done something very decent for me. Yes, something very kind indeed. How lovely. Perhaps you will accept this map by way of thanks. Heaven only knows what it's a map for, but there you go. That's because it's called... Orgodem... Or... Orgodema? Or... or, 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 or Demer? I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Orgodema... You know, anyway. I can't help feeling as if I've forgotten something important. Oh, well. Not so sorry. <laughs> what a moron. Anyway, yeah, so um, I think that's my ninth legacy map. I think I've got over half of them. I've got most of them, but it shows that there are more than just the eight final bosses across the games. But anyway, um, right, yes, I want to go Stormway now. Yeah, I still need to find a Blight Knight. I still need to find the Bird of Teradis and the Master Musifer, but I've, I've cleared out... Ev well, I've got every enemy that's possible in the... Uh, cave ones with all the dirt. Um, I don't. I've, I haven't found all the mine one yet, which you get with the first level one map. But I've got the majority. Anyway. Oh, hello, Phantom. Do you need me for something? Yep. Hmm. For me. Wow. These are some extremely valuable items. Thanks for getting them for me, Phantom. Customer, excuse me a moment. <laughs> oh, hello, Grooms. Well, yes, we do, but are you alright, sir? You look a little unwell. Well, truth is, I'm a bit strapped for cash, 
so I ain't been eating properly. You probably don't want me staying here now, do you? But of course we do, sir. Now, why don't you go sit yourself down and we'll bring a refreshing cup of tea. Here you go, sir. The finest honey tea made with birdsong nectar and a brilliant biscuit to go with it. Mmm, wow, this tea's amazing. I can feel it soothing my poor dry throat and filling me hungry belly. Ah. Have you gone crazy, honey? The ritzy tea and biscuits were for the king, not some low life from off the street. Mmm. Hello and welcome to the Quester's Rest. If you'd like to step over here to the counter, we'll get you checked in. See what I mean, Erin? We've got to give him something too now. This is royalty we're dealing with here. Thank you very much for signing in now. If you'd like me to take a seat, we'll bring you some nice refreshing tea. And who, may I ask, is this filthy rogue? I trust he's not one of my fellow guests. Yes, he is, Your Majesty, and another guest at that. I'm sure he'll tell you how delicious the honey tea is. Here you go. Well, really? I've got a bad feeling of this. The innie inspection continues, and Erin and the rest of the staff do their best to make the king stay a pleasant one. Then, the next morning. There's always the dot dot dot, like they do it in Bloody Dragon Quest XI. The next morning, dot dot dot. Good morning, honoured guest. I hope you both had a restful night's sleep. Oh yeah, well, it was blinding. I never slept in a bed so soft and comfy in my whole life. Fit for a king it was. Yes, my bed was very comfortable, but I must say, to have received the same treatment as this person is just... just... Amazing! Oh my, your majesty, please, what are you doing? Stop it. But it really is amazing how you treated both of us just the same. Just amazing. Well done, Eric. We're really impressed. Oh, I'm guessing it was a test. What? Two kings? No, no, just the one, dear. This fellow here is a lookalike I employed to help me with the inspection. Ho, ho, ho. I'm ever so sorry we had to deceive you like this, Erin. But the good news is that your inn is perfect. Just perfect. The facilities were excellent and the service second to none. I've had an absolutely wonderful stay. Well, I hope you're looking forward to the results as much as I am. Cheerio and very well done. Do 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 do. Woohoo! Both kings were delighted with us, and it's all thanks to you, Phantom. That surely put us a step closer to that innie, wouldn't you say? Thanks so much. I guess I didn't come out of that looking too hot, huh? I had totally the wrong idea. I've got to hand it to Erin, though. She's really giving the inn her best shot. That's quite the girl. I guess it's time I stopped treating her like a little kidder. And you, Phantom, you're the silent partner, huh? Well, it's time you had some recognition here. You deserve it. Thanks for helping her out, honey. And you know, she's going to need us all even more now if she wants that any. So, of course, I'll leave and I'll, and I'll see who wants the next quest. Bloody hell, look at that. There's only nine more to accept. I mean, there's only 12 more, technically. But, you know. Bom, 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 bom. Erin needs your help over in Stormway. And then we've got When a Star Wishes Upon You, which I believe will be the Peito one. Whatever his name is. I don't remember the Celestrian here. Because I, I know what happens in that quest, but, you know. Pavo, that's it. Anyway, hi Phantom, guess what? The nominations for the innies have arrived at last. Seeing as you helped me out so much, I thought I'd wait until you come over before I open them. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what it says. Nominations for the innie for your incredible entertaining. Dear Erin, having assessed your inn in Stormway, we, yes, have the pleasure of inviting you to attend the innie finals. Woohoo, we're in. Oh, Phantom, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay, what else does it say now? We found your accommodation to be outstanding, however. We still need you to prove you have what it takes to be crowned incredible entertainer and win the innie. Participating innkeepers must elect a partner and register at Stornway Castle. Well, I don't need any time to think about this one. I want you to be my partner, of course, Phantom. Who else? You've supported me with the in every step of the way. You're the natural choice. You'll do it, won't you? You'll join me in my bid to win the innie? Yep. Really? You will? Hurrah! Thank you, Phantom. Thank you all. Why don't you head over to the castle? I'll catch up with you as soon as I can. Diddle-lin. 
Better not be something stupid I have to do, because I don't want to have to do something silly. You know? Kind of just want it done at this point. Anyway, it, it's dawn, so, well, it's either dawn or midday. Well, dawn or dusk. So I should be able to still enter as long as it isn't night. Dusk till dawn. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Ah, young phantom. Entering the any finals as someone's partner, are you? Well, I'd be expecting great things then. Of course, Ivor's there. It looks like the other contestants are here. Let's get started, shall we? Hello, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the Innie Finals. Congratulations to everyone on making it this far. Okay, first let's meet our in owners. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to step forward when your names are called. From the flowery beds of Bloomingdale, it's several times Innie Finals runner-up, the irrepressible Pete. And all the way from Angel Falls, the young man who's come from nowhere to take the innkeeping world by storm, it's Ivor! Showing off as always. And last, but by no means least, the perfect proprietress of the Quester's Rest, it's Stormway's very own, Erin! I should do this for a day job, no I'm joking. Those are the owners. Let's make this a fair fight, ladies and gentlemen, and may the best innkeeper win. Now, let me explain the rules of the final. Each owner will go to a grotto with the partner they've chosen. All you must do is find an item there that represents what, what you believe to be the most important aspect of your inn. Now, I know that may be a touch vague for some of you, so let me give you a clue. The irrescible octagoon holds the key. If you defeat 20 of these barbaric beasts, you should be able to come up with the goods. Oh, and apparently Octagoons favour grottos set in old ruins. Now remember, partners, you hold the key to victory. If you're defeated in battle, your friends won't be able to find the item that represents their innkeeping style. So you'll need to work as a team if you want to clinch victory. Good luck. So I've got to get rid of 20 Octagoons. Hey, Erin, thanks to your granddad, I've become an unstoppable innkeeping machine. And I'm going to bring back something far more important, but... By which I mean far more valuable than anyone else. She'd better watch out because the prize is as good as mine. Do you really think the answer will be that simple? Well, there's only one way to find out. Shall we head off? Once you find a grotto set in some ruins, wait for me and I'll be with you right away. So of course it has to be a high level grotto. Um, like level... Uh, 60. I I didn't. I always. Well, I never called them ruins, but I guess it makes sense. So you got ruins, caves, water ones, volcanoes, and ice ones. Anyway, um, just need like a level 60 one with copper world of hurt. I don't know. Hang on, steel world of regret. That'll be that'll be one that's needed definitely. Right, let's go. Hi Phantom, sorry to make you wait. Well, this certainly looks like the kind of ruined grotto the king was talking about. Let's go find some octagoons and show them what we're made of, shall we? If we can't find any, then maybe we'll just have to find another grotto set in some ruins and try there instead. Here's to winning the Anis. I mean, this should be good enough for some octagoons. Let's not touch the blastode, shall we? Until I start to see octagoons, I'm just gonna, you know, speed it up and vanish. And, I'll, and as I said, I'll probably do the uh, the last story related side quest that you get in this quest line, and the last one I actually have to do at all in terms of the story related extra side quest. Anyway, I did not mean to do that. Looks like I have to get through a bit further to face those octagoons. They probably are ones that I can get to first time, but it don't matter. Delude, delude, a thousand and three damage. Jasmine, are you are you right, mate? Jesus. See, I decided to use all the seeds that I just kind of didn't ever use for some reason. 
Uh, so you know, y'all. What a long winded floor one. Looks like this is going to be a long winded floor too. It looks like this is going to take longer than they really have to. But that's fine. I don't feel like this was one of the ones I did today. I don't know, well, no, I don't think I went as far down as 65. I mean, I did a level 99 one which had a gr which had green oil in it. Um, he was still ridiculously difficult, even with max level and all that stuff. So it makes me wonder how bad the um, legacy bosses are going to be. But I'm ready nonetheless. But yeah, this will be annoying, trying to get 20 octagoons when we get to that point. I just have to literally find out where they are. So just obviously get far, far enough in to get them. I mean, this this has to be a high enough level no matter what. But, you know. So, yeah, magically killing 20 of them will help her find the thing she seeks. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Because, you know, it's very specific. It seems a bit random. Um, obviously, the challenge itself is to just kill 20 of them. But it's just kind of unexplained but anyway now I'm seeing the Darkonium slimes they've got to be around somewhere the octagoons have got to be close damn it do 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 Come on, just need the octagoons. That is literally it. Let's find octagoons. They're never rare, but they're going to be rare now. I need them, aren't they? Because that's just the way it works. Anyway, this is a pretty short floor, to be fair. Where on earth are the octagoons, though? Dun 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 dun. I do not like it. Here we go. Here they are. We found them. So I'm just going to, you know, attack these and I'm going to go Crackle and then I'm going to go Fandango. Bang. Is that anybody dead? No. Everybody's still alive. But never mind. It's very sloppy. This is not the way I wanted to do it at all, but never mind. So you go from having the first turn to the last. Because that totally makes sense. Yeah, well done. I got two. Still need 18 more though, don't I? See, this is where I'd usually run away. Because I'd be like, at max level. No need to face the battles. It's not like I need the money, but of course. I'm going to stay. Because I have to defeat them. See, I'm just going to get to this open area here. Because... Be a good place to hold my ground against them. But um, but um, bum, 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 bum. And if I need to reset at any point, because RNG is bad at least with the enemy encounters, you know, I can do this. But to be fair, I very rarely see octagoons in these open areas. I usually see them in blocking these narrow pathways, but. You know, I don't want one. I want more than one. Still need sixteen more. Of course, it will be long-winded. It will take a while, but. 
It's fine. Didn't 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 I mean, I don't know what this is supposed to have to do with inns, but I guess they just chuck in the storyline and give you the challenges. Anyway, that's it. Make octagoons rare, even though I know they're not. Give me a gem jamboree as well, yeah. Give me another Darkonium Slime without a single Octagoon, thank you. Why am I only getting one? I don't want one. This is terrible. Right, I'm, just, I'm only getting one. And I'm just not getting... Like, I've seen three in one battle before. Well, I've seen three in one battle quite a lot, to be honest. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Nay, that's only a quarter of a man. Still fifteen left. What is this? Just give me an octagoon. Hey, at least I got multiple this time. No, it just goes down to luck with like who's hit and when. Fantastic, exactly what I wanted. Thirteen left. I don't want to slug a slot. Go away, please. So basically what I did in the end is like any grottos above the level of 80, once I got to like the final few floors, I just basically ran around to try and get different enemies. I mean I found a um, gem slime, which was the, um, which is the gold version of the um, Metal King slime. So instead of getting crap tons of experience, you get crap tons of gold. You get 10,080 altogether. You know, like, in terms of speed... The Darkonium Slimes are gods, so I might as well just go for the uh, Octagoon. Lovely. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. That's it, yep, 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 that's exactly what I wanted. Bam. Lovely. Right. Twelve more. Does it look like I want a slug a slot? No, it doesn't. So leave me alone with them, yeah. Intercepted by the Dark Onium Slime. What a bitch. No Octagoon whatsoever. I'm seeing everything else, like more than I'll usually do, in replacement for the Octagoon, which I'll usually see millions of. I just, I just always get bad luck with stuff like this, don't I? Like, it's just... It's just bloody enemies at the end of the day. Hey, it was in a random bloody encounter. 
You see, I can't just go around going for the random encounters because you never know when you're going to get stuff like this. To be honest. No, bloody hell, calm down. Calm down. The double crit. And down you go. Nice. Nearly halfway. Yeah, I'd like to find an Octagoon battle with like two again or even three. It doesn't even look like I'm gonna get two again for like years, so you know. Huzzah! Dead. Death to Ming! Lovely. Right. Ooh, itchy, itchy. Anyway, that's halfway. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa! Tortoise and the hare. The purple great troll. Danny goes. I told you he would go square. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Tortoise and the hare. Come on, man. Mm, not getting any Darkonium. No, no, not Darkonium. Octagoon. I was going to say Darkonium slimes. But no, you get millions of them. Can I get the OCTA GOON, please? In other words, game Octagoon, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that you've never done for me. And of course, the claws is up here still. No point even going for that bloody liquid metal. Oh my god! What have I done to deserve this? When do you ever see a, a Darkonium Slime Great Troll combination? You just don't see it. Like, game, you're being cruel and I don't like it. Disgusting. It's not fair. Grr, I'm angry now. It's been like three minutes, two to three minutes since I've seen one Octagoon. Like, I want this done by half eight, but that means also doing the other side quest as well. So I'll go over. I'll, like, I don't care, like, I won't be doing revision once I've done this. Don't bother me. And plus, it's only mocks at the end of the day. So I don't care. If I chop off ten minutes of mock revision, I don't care. This time next year was what's more important. And plus there's more important things that I've got going on. Anyway. So. That's it. Take your time game. That's it. I totally condone to this. Go on. Take about ten minutes before you give me another octagoon. That's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you doing? Why? why look, you're giving me two. Why are you doing this for? It's against your nature game. You know, die. Nice, even distribution of damage there. We should be both dead. Yep. The one, two, boogaloo. Electric boogaloo. You know, game, don't do that again. I said there's no rush game. No need to, no need to give me octagoons. Now, you probably agree with me, all of you that be watching this, you know. There's no need for the game to rush. Giving me the octagoons, I mean, I've got nothing to, I've got nothing to do, have I? No. Just little, little old me. At home, you know. No, no need to rush game. 
don't have to give me any more octagoons. Oh, what are you doing, game? Look, you've already given me two more. What are you doing? God. This is not funny, is it? Like, I told them not to rush, and they're, and they're just rushing now. Nah, you're giving me so many all of a sudden. Like, I don't want this many. Naughty game. Need to learn their lesson. I know they're only a game, but like the, the developers and they you know to learn their lessons. I told them not to to hurry up and rush with the octagoons, and suddenly I've just got two battles in a row with two octagoons. You see, before if I'd have been like, oh, I'd like the octagoons to hurry up, you know, doesn't work. But when when I realise, you know, there's no need to rush. I get octagoons. It's just, you know, it's a wonderful life we lead. And I would have done this by now if, like, if I just was killing 20 random ones just going through the dungeon because I would have seen many more. But there's no point going any further than this if this is where you get them. Anyway, as I was saying, See, look, they're, they're listening to me now. Look, they ain't, they ain't giving me any more, which is good, because I said I didn't want them to rush with the octagoons. <gasps> look, oh, look at that. Uh, the, uh, was that even two minutes? I think that, oh, what, that was close to two minutes, but I don't think that wasn't long enough. And they've just given me two more. How dare they? They should give me one every five minutes. That way it would take too long, wouldn't it? But no, just all of a sudden, the game's being nice. No, 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 no. But then again, um, I've got hope for these last four. It's going to take a very long time. Oh, wait, whoa, that's like, it's going to take a very long time to get more octagoons. But just give me two more, just like that. The game never learns, does it? I don't want this. I don't want this many. I just don't learn. I know the Barbatos will get in the way. Unless it's never attacked, then that's fine. Look at that, two more, just like that. Very disappointed in your game. Very disappointed. Look at that, I've, I've got like eight in a row in like three minutes. How dare they? I did not say I wanted eight in, within like three minutes. I didn't say that. I said I was in no rush. Just, just, just giving me octagoons. Look, look at that again. Just like that, snap of a finger. And there we go. Looks like the reverse psychology works again. It always works, you see? It always works. You know, you commit to it fully. Boom. Reverse psychology always works. Works every time. And that's all of them. Now what's going to happen? Huh. <sighs> That was the 20th one, wasn't it? But it didn't drop anything. Oh no, maybe I'm just not good enough. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. I'm just not cut out to be an incredible entertainer. But you were pretty amazing, Phantom. Standing up to another a monster after monster like that. <coughs> Pardon me. If nothing else, I know I picked the right partner. Thanks so much for all your help. We make a really good team. I bet that's what it is. The partnership. That's it. I know what it is, Phantom. I've got it. I know exactly what's most important to Arin. We've already got the most important thing, right? Let's go back to the castle and claim that prize. Yeah, I worked it out anyway. Pretty obvious in the end. Because, um, I mean, I, I mean, I did say, like, there'd be no way that the, a random... The random 20th Octagoon would just randomly drop an item. It's not going to happen, is it? Because it'd just be out of context and silly. Bum, 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 bum. Now, is anybody else here? No, they are not. Welcome back, Phantom. So you found what's most important to your inn, I take it. it. Looks like the other contestants are here. Let's get started, shall we? Excellent work, everybody. It seems that you've all found what's most important to your inns and brought it back with you. Now, if you'd like to show me one by one what it is you've brought back. Pete, how about you first? Yes, Your Majesty, I believe the magic beast hides the octagon's drop represent what's most important to my inn. I got this one all on my own without my son's help, which made me realise that the most important thing for my inn is me. 
Hmm, so the Magic Beast hired led you to realise that you're the most important thing, eh? What about you, young Ivor? Well, if you ask an in-keeping machine like me, the answer has to be platinum ore. It's rare and refined, and only the best can get their hands on it, and it's worth a lot of gold coins. And that's just what people want from their inns, just want them to be rare, refined, expensive and exclusive. Ho oh, oh, ho, platinum ore, eh? Intriguing. And lastly, what about you, Erin? What's your answer? What's the matter, girl? Come on, speak up. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't show you the thing that's most important to my inn, and I certainly couldn't get it from a monster. I realised... When it was when Phantom and I were working together down in that grotto, the thing that's most important to my inn is the hard work and support of all the people around me. There's Phantom, of course, but there's also Patty and Selma and Ginny. Without even one of them, the Quester's Rest just wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the Quester's West at all. That's my girl, Erin. Marvellous. Grandpa? An incredible entertainer must combine cracking customer care with top notch teamwork, isn't that right, Mr. Chairman? Chairman? Grandpa? You what? Is this a joke or something? I'm afraid it's true. I'm the chairman of the Syndicate of Pubs, Inns and Taverns. I'm sorry, but I couldn't tell you until now. Erin, your answer was perfect. It says that you really learnt what it means to be a great innkeeper. I'm so proud of you. Well, having taken all of your answers into consideration, I think we're ready to announce the results. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Innies and this year's incredible entertainer, Erin of the Quester's Rest. Yep, I recognise that because it's in DQ11. Erin, it gives me great pressure to rep to present you with the same trophy your father won all those years ago. A new incredible entertainer is born. Please, a round of applause for this year's any winner, Erin of the Questers Rest. And so, with the help of the heroic Phantom, Erin is finally crowned Incredible Entertainer. Clutching the trophy, she whispers the names of her dear departed parents and basks in the glow of success. The castle is alive with the sounds of celebration until the wee small hours and then day breaks over Stormway. Wait, that still hasn't technically been handed in, has it? So, yeah. Did you enjoy the banquet? It's been a wee while since I've had that much fun myself. Uh, I should probably congratulate you for all your hard work helping Erin as well. Well done, Phantom. An incredible entertainer has to care about others, first and foremost. I'm sure Erin knows that. It must be a great encouragement for her to have you around. I hope you'll continue to be of assistance to her. Well, if you go to the Quester's Rest to see our latest winner, make sure you drop by again soon, won't you? I don't I don't know, uh, King Scott. It looks like I've done everything I need to do for you. Anyway, let's go. See if there's anybody here to congratulate. Do-do-do-do-do. Hey, Erin told me the news. It's amazing. Well done, Phantom. That proves it, huh? Patty and pa the party planner sure knows how to pick them. That's a nice little tongue twister. Anyway, thank you, Phantom. Really, it's all thanks to you that I got the innie for incredible entertaining. But uh, I was actually wondering if you'd do me another tiny little favour. You've done so much for me already, I know. But we've had quite a few adventures together, you and I, haven't we? And I've come to realise that I learned so much from them. If I hadn't had the chance to travel with you, I might never have understood what true comrade is. So please, please take me on more adventures with you. I don't care when. Just say the word and I'll be there. Hurrah, I knew you'd say yes. I'll make sure I don't get under your feet, I promise. So it looks like all of these get added. Anyway, I know my mum and dad will be looking down on me with pride. So, you are Phantom, I've heard much about you. There is something I must ask you, but first it is proper that you allow me to introduce myself. Pray adjourn to the other side of this counter, then we may talk properly. I alone dare to cast open the sealed door of fate. Allow me to assist you, I have the power to open the door to other dimensions that only Celestians may enter. Through it lies worlds that are not our own, where fresh adventures await. Do you desire to know more about the report or no? Pray, what can I do for you? Go away. Now, anyway. Greetings, Phantom, I have been awaiting your arrival. 
Forget my bluntness, but I must ask of you a favour. Will you hear it? You have perhaps heard tell of a great treasure known as a prayer pearl. It is a jewel of boundless power, said to harbour the power to change a celestial's very destiny. A glistering star spake unto me. It bade me acquire a prayer pearl. The wishes of such a star is that is this cannot go unbidden, but I am bound to this location. Will you fulfil this quest on behalf of a fellow Celestrian? You accept, then please accept my gratitude also. The star glistening tells of a grotto wherein dwells mighty Escalopur. Therein can the prayer pearl be found. May the Almighty watch over you, Phantom. My thoughts go with you, though I myself cannot. So, I just need to face a scalloper so I can get there for Friday. And look at that, not many left. So, I could try and go to the high plateau on Gle in Gleba, but I just. I can't ever find what I want to find in Gleba. I just. I don't know. It's just not there. <laughs> and anyway, I need to try and, you know, accept that quest. Now, anyway, how many quests have I got rolling anyway? I need to know. I've got space for two more, so it's fine. See, this is the high plateau west of Gleba. The one you can see, but like I went there, there's like poison pools and stuff. But yet there's no quests. What devilry is this? There is absolutely bloody nothing here. That could be useful for a quest. Look, there's nothing here. This is the high plateau west of Gleber. And yet there's nothing bloody here. So, I don't know, I need to search that up. Anyway, um, I guess that marks the end of this episode. So, thank you for watching this episode of my playthrough of Drunkest 9, Centrals of the Starry Skies. And in the next episode, I hope to try and get When a Star Wishes Upon You done. I'll probably start the episode at Escalopur. I've also got Can We Borrow You for a second? I'll try and do that one. Shame on Goo. Of course, there's two more slime enemies I need to try and deal with. And that plum duffer one, hopefully I can do once I get enough time. But anyway, on that note, there are only 28 quests left for me to do. So it should be done by the time I go on holiday, which will be uh, good for stuff. But anyway, as I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. And I'll see you tomorrow where I will be streaming, Of course, on sh well, yesterday I didn't stream for a few reasons. Um... I mean, I had the time, but I didn't want to because there were more important things yesterday. But I will definitely see you tomorrow for a stream. And of course, I'll see you with this and another one of my good old streams on Friday. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, all I can say to you now is goodbye and good night.